Hello friends, here we will discuss 2nd of January current affairs and along with current affairs we will discuss some static fact based on the questions here. So here we are moving to the first question. Who has become the CMD of Northern Coal Fields? And the answer is option A, Vola Singh. Vola Singh has assumed charge as the chairman come managing director of the singularly based subsidiary of Coal India, Northern Coal Fields Limited. And earlier, Vola Singh was working as the director of the Central Coal Fields and this was in Jharkhand West subsidiary. Moving to next, gross goods and services tax revenue collections in December rose to what percent as mentioned by finance ministry? And the answer is 13%. Option C is the correct choice. Gross goods and services tax revenue collections in December rose to 13% year on year to rupees 1.29 lakh crore data released by the finance ministry and anti evasion measures coupled with a pickup in the services sector contributed to the rise in gst revenue despite a drop in the ua bills and gst revenue in november this was 1.31 lakh crore and in december this is 1.29 lakh crore moving to next US commits to extend the support for International Space Station by which year? And this is option D, 2030. President Joe Biden committed US support for the International Space Station through 2030. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson announced this. And the International Space Station is a beacon of peaceful international scientific collaboration for more than 20 years. And this would be on enormous scientific, educational, technological developments to the benefit of humanity. Nelson wrote in a statement on NASA's website that his place to Biden Harris administration has committed to continuing the station operation through 2030. This is a quoted line. Moving to next. Global Family Day is observed on 1st of January. This is option A. And 2nd of January. This is National Science Fiction Day. Just remember this. Global Family Day is also known as World Peace Day and is celebrated every year to promote the concept of harmony and the unity in the world. It emphasizes the idea of the world as a global village in which we are all family regardless of citizenship, borders and race. And the theme is one day of peace. Moving to next, XI Life Insurance Company Limited is set to merge with which company? And the answer is option D, HDFC Life Insurance. The Competition Commission of India on Tuesday approved the acquisition of HDFC Life Insurance Company Limited and its 100% shareholding in XI Life Insurance Company. And the ink was signed for 6687 crore rupees. And Competition Commission of India headquarter is in New Delhi, establishment year 2003, and chairperson Mr. Ashok Kumar Gupta. Tata Motors overtake which company to grab the number two position in respect of passenger vehicles in December 2021? And the answer is option B, Hyundai. Tata Motors, the maker of Nexon SUV, has overtaken the Hyundai Motors India to become the second largest seller of the passenger vehicles in domestic market for the first time in a close to December 2021. And this will be the highest ever quarterly sales in October to December of 2021 and the highest annual sales since its inception in 2021. Hyundai establishment in 2006, headquarters Seoul, South Korea, chairman Moon Ko Chung. And moving to next. What is the target set up by India under making India target for Apple Incorporation? And the answer is option D, $50 billion. The center has proposed that electronics giant Apple generate annual production output of worth $50 billion in India. And over next to next 5 to 6 years in a push to its Make in India program, this can be achieved. So, Apple establishment in 1976, headquarter California, US, Chairman Tim Cook. What amount has been released by the PM Modi and the PM Kishan scheme? For farmers, and this is rupees twenty thousand nine hundred crore. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today released over twenty thousand nine hundred crore to more than ten point zero nine crore. 
farmers across India as the tenth installment of the financial aid under PM Kishan scheme, and this is twenty thousand nine hundred crore. The amount I am talking about under PM Kishan scheme, PM Modi released this amount, right, for farmers, and this is ten point zero nine crore farmers. Under Pradhan Mantri Kishan Samman Nidhi scheme, a financial benefit of six thousand rupees per year is provided to the eligible farmer families, but this is in three equal installment. That is of two thousand rupees each. And the money is transferred directly to the bank accounts of the beneficiary. So that is all for now, and good day.